we talked about travel earlier in the show and we're going to go further with it now because I want to talk travel tips and I mean really super practical travel tips. What is your number one travel tip? And we're going to get specific to one place that you've been so we can help our viewers with all of this. And I love to take sort of notes on everybody's vacations because you have the insider knowledge if you've been to a place, right? So where are you traveling to and what is your trip? We're going to start with you, Jeff. Okay, so I'm all about wine and a lot of people don't <laughs> know this. Really? But uh, <laughs> the most famous wine region in the world, arguably, Champagne, is only 45 minutes north of Paris. And Paris is at the top of a lot of people's travel lists. Mm -hmm. um, many people have been there. If you're looking to escape the city on a day trip, hop on the train, go 45 minutes north to the city of Reims, and all the big producers are in the city. So you can just walk Ooh. around and taste the world's most famous sparkling wine, yes. jump back on the train and head back to Paris for dinner. It's a really fun little jaunt. I love that tip because you're right. People would think this needs to be a separate vacation. It does not. No, and If you're going to Paris, just take the train up there. Yeah, they would think that you need a car or you know a local yes. guide to take you around, but it's really easy to navigate on your own. And, yeah. Uh, Oh, I love that tip, and I will do that next time. We are in the region, 1,000%. Okay, Mike, how about you? Where are we going, and what is your tip? I'm not going to sort of surprise you with something different. I'm also going to talk about sparkling wine. What a uh, shock! This time, though, <laughs> That's okay. I'm taking you to Venice. So yes. Venice is a classic destination, one of my favorite cities in the world. Uh -huh. um, but my suggestion is maybe, uh, you know, hive off a day from sightseeing, hop on the train as well, yeah. and go to Valdobbiadene, which is a small town mm -hmm. just north of Venice. About 45 minutes away. Okay. Home of Prosecco. Many of the producers oh, yeah. are super accessible from the town, so you can hop on the train, yeah. enjoy the ambience of a small town, have some Prosecco, see what it's all about, hop on the train and have a, a night in Venice. Very good. And you know what? A good tip, actually, for any major city that you might be visiting. Because I, we like to get out of the city. Absolutely. So you want to do one day that's like city and see all the sites and the architecture and what have you, but also get out of there and yeah. go to some of the regions that may be a little bit less traveled. Absolutely. So great tips. Love them both. Do you have a tip about wine, Paul? Sort of, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I, knew, I knew I wouldn't be the Where only are we one going? to talk about France. <laughs> yes. But Paris, speaking from experience, of course, when you go there, you want to hit the restaurants, you want to hit the bistros and the cafes, but take the time, stop at little shops, grab stuff and make a picnic out of it yes. at the Eiffel Tower on the sprawling lawn. So oh, yeah. get different cured meats, go to the boulangerie, get nice pastries, get jams mm. and spreads and chocolate. And then once you've gathered all your food, then go hit a wine shop and ask for a recommendation on a pairing for what you've gathered. Yes. And then go to the Eiffel Tower, lay down a blanket and have yourself a picnic. And Love if you go it. at night, you can sort of watch the sunset, the lights come on on the tower, it's beautiful. And it's a lot cheaper, so we did it like two or three times when we were there. That's very smart. Yeah. I think that's, that's brilliant. Always ask for the recommendation. That, for sure. That is such a smart tip, uh, because they are going to tell you something local, something in the region, and it's going to be cheaper. Most, it's mostly Absolutely. cheaper, right, because it's local. Um, I'm going to do a practical one. This one's for Spain. And it is, if you're on the med side, actually all the way down to the, the Strait, of Gibraltar, or Strait of Gibraltar, we were on a beach and people had no clothes on, but they had swim shoes. That was our first sign, you need swim shoes. It is rocky. It will be such a better vacation if you have something on your feet and you were in the Mediterranean, if you're anywhere uh, in Spain. I want to go and bring a couple more people in. We've got a couple more minutes. We've got Shona and Natalie here. Shona, do you have a travel tip for us? Oh gosh, this was one of the hardest things for me to narrow down. And I've done most of the things everyone said already. So I'm going to go a little closer. Y'all went to Europe. I'm going to go closer and stay in North America. And I'm going to go to Las Vegas. Yeah. Everybody goes to all the attractions, all the restaurants, all the shows, all the touristy stuff. But take a day or an afternoon, rent a car, and drive out to the desert to the Red Rocks. Mm. And go for a walk or a hike. Whatever your fitness level is, you can accommodate it. It is unbelievably beautiful, unbelievably peaceful, and like the total opposite of what Las Vegas the Strip is all about. So just take that little quick trip. It's totally worth it. And so close. Red Rock Canyon is so close. Mm, yes, I love that. Okay, Natalie, yeah. you've been everywhere. Yeah. Uh, do you have a tip for us? 
So I'm going to go really far afield, and I'm going to say Australia. When you yeah. finally get to Australia, I would recommend working with a tour guide. So like everyone else said, you know, you don't know what you don't know, and they can give you recommendations on where to go, what to see. Also, there's such a huge Indigenous culture there that some of the places you would be visiting, you might not know how sacred and how beautiful and how important these places are, but also for safety. You know, when you're somewhere new, you don't know where you're going, you're in the outback in the middle of the night, you, you know, you kind of need someone to say, hey, don't step there or don't walk this way, um, just, just, just in case. Uh, yeah, I would definitely want a tour guide for all of that. But these are fantastic tips and they're practical tips. Um, and, you know, my takeaway is going to be go find the wine. Thank you, everyone. <laughs>